Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and today I'm up for UK Scrap Addicts and um, this is a little bit of a different, um, a different, not a different video, but um, a different task. So every month we have a different theme and for the month of March we had um, used black cardstock and for the month of April it's sparkles. Now when I was creating this layout, um, this was for my black cardstock layout for March and then I thought, well, hang on a minute, I've actually got a fusion between the two months here. So I'm going to run this video on the 1st of April. Um, and this is going to cover both um, the a crossover between March and April's themes. So what am I doing here? So I've grabbed a quote and I've just printed that from, um, from the internet. And I've grabbed a bit of, I've used vellum because my tracing paper is currently in storage. Um, so tracing paper is um, is the, the cheapest option. Um, so all I'm doing is I'm just grabbing a pencil and I'm tracing over the lines of this quote. Now you probably would have done this back in school um, and I remember it very, very well. Now if you have a printer that you know how to reverse the image, um, then you can cut out one of these steps. Um, I would suggest that you print it um, so it's the opposite so it reads backwards from right to left because you can cut out that first step. Now I've traced it one way and all I've done is I've just flipped it over and then I'm having to um, use my pencil again to go over the lines from the reverse. So in total there are going to be three traces um, so once the correct way round or you can cut that step out if you can um, print it in reverse. The second step is um, this way around, so you need to go over the back of it um, to add the pencil marks on to the back. And then I'm going to lay that on my black cardstock um, effectively four times, and you'll see why actually I trace this four times. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to repress through from the front onto the, um, onto the paper. So I'm just going to trace over my lines again, and then what's going to happen is that's going to leave the pencil mark. Um, on the black cardstock. I'm just lifting that to make sure that there's a clear enough impression for me to um, to trace over. And you can always have the the printout beside you as reference anyway. So um, if you ever don't get a clear impression, then uh, just have a look at the image you're trying to trace. And I'm just marking the edges here where my paper needs to go back down, but that's not really necessary. So I've just done this in two little stints. So I've done the first two words um, just so I can get on and show you the um, the process of this. So I've used a, uh, a Uniball Signo uh, white gel pen. And this is my favorite white pen uh, to use on black. And um, I got the idea of this um, when I thought about black cardstock with um, a chalkboard theme, um, which is why I don't went um, down this route with thinking well, I could do um, white lettering on black and I thought rather than using alphas, um, I'd give it a go with, um, I'd say some hand lettering, but um, I know that I I wouldn't make a very good job of it, so I thought the next best in between is to find something that um, that I could copy and um, and trace, and then this is what I came up with. So I love the finished effect of this. It's just it's just amazing, um, and I will be doing this again, um, to be honest. And I might try it with different doing a black on white maybe. That could work. And I've just ordered some Amazon um, pens off of Amazon. Um, so you get a white um, Uniball Signo. You get a gold and a silver, I think it is. Um, so yeah, I've got those ordered and I'm going to try those on the black as well. Now just be careful because the pen does need a little time to dry. So just be careful when you're doing this because um, it is easily smudgeable um, until it is dry. I mean, it doesn't take that long to dry, but just be careful when you're um, carrying on with the next letters. 
Um, with regards to these pens, I know that someone's going to ask um, where they can get them from. Um, you can get them off of Amazon. Or you might be able to, if you're in the UK, you might be able to pick them up from Ryman's, potentially, or WH Smith's. Um, you can also use, there's a, a jelly roll pen as well, and that's jelly with a G. Um, those are also um, fairly good pens, but I most certainly recommend the, um, the Uniball Signo pen. And check on Hey Little Magpie as well. You might be able to get them from there in the UK. Um, but yeah, this is probably my favourite white pen to use, um, and it gives a really um, stark contrast on the black cardstock. So definitely my recommendation is uh, this pen if you're attempting this layout. So I'm going to speed this up in a minute and um, and get you to the end of the um, of the white uh, marking because I think you get the idea now. So all we've done is just made, effectively made the impression from the, um, from the quote onto the black cardstock. And you can barely, see, you can't see the pencil marks um, as I'm doing this, but um, in real life, you will be able to see those pencil marks. And as I said, have it beside you so you can always refer back. And don't do this as well. This is where I needed to leave it to dry. And I decided still to put it back down and carry on going. <clears throat> what I would suggest is if you're going to give this a go, do the whole sentiment. So you're not having to put it back down on top for any reason. Um, I just did it that way so I could show you the first bit of it um, without... And I'm quite impatient, to be honest. I wanted to see how it's going to look before um, I did the whole thing. So I'm just going to carry on going over the rest of the quote with my pencil. And then here was where I come in with the white uh, gel pen and finish that off. And I'm just adding in some... I do add in... Um, when you look at it afterwards, you sort of notice little things where you're not happy and... I've gone back over it since and just sort of thickened some of the lines up where I wasn't happy or straightened some other bits. So this is where I come back in and um, just add in a little bit more. So, yeah, don't be worried that if, you know, if you look at it and you're not overly happy, then um, then you can always add um, add some more thicker lines in or whatever you need to do to um, to make it to make it OK. So that piece of white cardstock there, um, I'd cut a, uh, gutted a circle out of the middle and I thought I'll keep that um, because I'm sure there'll be a time when I'm going to want to back something on a white background. And that's exactly what I've done here. So I've just taken a quarter inch strip off of each side of the card and then I've mounted it on that white. Apologies that this is slightly off screen. For some reason, my filming angle um, this day was slightly off. So, um, yeah. So all I've done there is I've used the um, crepe paper Chasing Dreams, uh, no, Baggy Homes, Chasing Dreams. Um, this is a one that's been in my stash that um, I just need to use up. It's just crazy now <laughs> that I've had this for so long um, that, yeah, I'm I'm using bits up as I go. Um to be honest, I'm, I'm using sort of half collections that I've got left to make pocket letters and that sort of thing with happy mail. So um, it's great to be able to get into the older bits of stash and um, get them used up and, you know, give them a new lease of life, which is exactly what I'm doing here. Um, I could have dug into um, some of the newer stuff, but I thought, no, I need to be a bit more strict with myself and I need to get these bits used up there's no point in them sitting there and that's one great thing so half of my stuff is has um, I've mentioned before has gone into storage due to the leak um, which has meant that the stuff that I've kept out the um, which was mainly the um, the stuff that hasn't been released within the last six months I've had to use I've had no choice but to use it so it's um yeah it's been good so all I'm doing here is I'm just going through the chipboard pieces and um, the puffy stickers. I can't seem to get the puffy stickers to work on this one, so I give up with that in the end. Um, and then I've just got some cardstock stickers here, those little black and white plus signs. 
Um, I'm going to add those in as well just to help along with the black and white theme. So really it's it's the the, the colour um, palette on this is black and white um, with the pops of pink and a little bit of that tealy green as well um, from the the girl in the chipboard piece and also this little um, rabbit rosette as well. Why a rabbit rosette on my layout? I have no idea, but we're going to embrace that random ephemera. So next up, I'm just fussy cutting uh, three butterflies to add some dimension into my layout as well. Now, apologies because um, I think I double tapped the record button um, before I started adding the sequins on, which meant that I ended up with a one second clip. Um, so I have no film clip showing you my sequins being stuck down but I'm sure you I'm sure you know how to stick sequins down and I'm going to give you some close-ups anyway um so I just wanted to thank you very much for joining me today now if you are watching on my main channel then do head over to UK Scrap Addicts um, Facebook group and also the YouTube channel which are all linked below um, if you're watching on UK Scrap Addicts thank you very much and my YouTube channel is also linked below and please give this video, video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and I will see you next month for a new challenge bye